Hello friends, in this video we will talk about the planets in astrology. In this video we will talk about the 12 planets, Sun, Moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, North Node of Moon, South Node, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. And out of these 12 planets, some planets are used in Western astrology. Some are used in Eastern Astrology, Vedic Astrology and some in the Egyptian Astrology. So we will briefly discuss about all the 12 planets which are used in almost all the systems. So let's get started. So first we will talk about the element of the planet. Each and every planet is connected to certain element like earth, air, water, ether. So uh, there are five, uh, fiery planets, there are earthy planets, there are planets which are watery. So these are used in uh, to give some predictions. Then the relationship. Each and every planet uh, denotes some relationship like sun denotes father, moon denotes mother, Jupiter is for children. And then we will talk about the nature of the planets like the sun is the king among all the planets moon is the queen and we will also talk about the body parts like uh, uh, each and every planet represents some body part like head bones heart stomach and some special and we will also discuss about the some speciality which is related to the planet and at last we will also discuss about the signs like uh, a planet it, it is strong in which sign and it is weak in which sign so let's get started so our first planet is sun see sun is the king among all the planets of astrology sun is the biggest planet and sun is the source of energy for our solar system and it is a fiery planet sun is the uh, uh, sun and mars both are fiery planets but sun is the original it is the hottest planet and it represents soul so wherever sun is placed in the horoscope a person has a natural liking towards that house and then uh, it also represents government central government federal government and it represents vitality, the ability of the body to fight diseases, the immunity, the inner strength of the person. And sun also denotes your career. Uh, a good sun denotes uh, that a person will have a very good career. And in some systems of astrology, sun also represents the pleasure of married life. Like if sun is uh, well po well positioned in a horoscope and is strong then the person will have a very good married life and it also uh, represents your father like if son is weak in a horoscope the person may not have a very good relation with his father and it also represents bones any affliction to son uh, may denote some disease related to bones also now our next planet is moon see moon is the queen among all the planets it is a female planet like sun was a male planet and moon is a female planet it is a watery planet its element is water and moon represents our mind it represents our cognitive abilities imagination and sun and uh, uh, represents father and moon represents our mother so these two two luminaries sun and moon play an important role in the horoscope of a person and sun, uh, and uh, uh, moon also represents like women they are mid age women not young but married women mid age women old women they are represented by moon moon also represents wealth 
and it uh, represents uh, the pleasure that we get from wealth and it is also the significator of childhood if moon is well positioned in a horoscope it denotes that the person has a, had a very good childhood and it also represents blood and diseases like uh, blood cancer or other diseases uh, related to blood occur when moon is afflicted in a horoscope and moon is exalted in the taurus sign and it is debilitated in the scorpio sign and and it's uh, and it rules the sign of cancer next is mars see mars is the commander among the planets it is the, and among the planets it, it denotes uh, the, it is a fiery planet and it denotes the physical strength of a person it represents the administ- state administration uh, government servants high ranking officials and it also represents courage a weak mars makes a person timid while a strong mars makes a person courageous it also represents our will power and uh, and the wars ability to fight the enemies all these things are denoted by mars and mars is also represented by our younger siblings and in our body part it represents the bone marrow so bone marrow is the substance which is inside our bones which produces our uh, red blood cells so mars has a connection with blood also and mars is exalted in capricorn sign debilitated in cancer sign and it is and it owns the sign of aries and scorpio now we have mercury mercury is the prince among the planet like sun was the king then moon queen mars the commander and mercury is the prince and it is an earthy planet it represents the element earth that's why it uh, brings a lot of stability in the house where it is positioned in the horoscope and it represents communication skills like uh, you may have heard that a lot of uh, astrologers say that when mercury becomes retrograde the communication uh, skills of a person and of a nation also they get disturbed like people they a lot of miscommunication happens when mercury gets retrograde and it also represents our speech like if mercury is afflicted a person may stammer or his speech may be not that much perfect and it represents our ability to do business mercury as a planet it loves wealth it loves to earn wealth that's why it represents the ability to do business and it also in together it also represents our will power but will power in the sense to earn money and among the body parts it represents our skin and among the relations it represents our maternal relatives like the brothers and sister of your mother the maternal side of your relations and it also represents our worldly dealings that how well we are able to deal with people how how much able we are in cracking deals so all these things are represented by mercury it is exalted in virgo it is debilitated in pisces and it rules the sign of gemini and virgo next we have the jupiter jupiter is the teacher among the planets it is also said that it is the perceptor the teacher the guru among the planets and it is an airy planet it uh, air and earth and air and ether both of these elements are there in the planet jupiter and it represents spirituality it represents philosophy and it it also represents a blessing wherever jupiter is placed in the horoscope in that that house is a blessing for that person it also represents intellect wisdom children 
if jupiter is afflicted a person may not have children and elder siblings like the your elder brother elder sister all these are represented by jupiter and it represents like priests holy people saints all these are the significators of jupiter and among the body parts it it represents like fat and liver a strong jupiter makes a person fatty and a weak jupiter may give uh, liver troubles and jupiter is exalted in the sign cancer and debilitated in capricorn and rules the sign of sagittarius and in the eastern astrology uh, pisces also is ruled by jupiter next we have the venus venus is the minister among the planets it is a diplomatic planet it is a female planet it represents sex it represents relationships it represents prosperity arts and drama it represents the very fine things of life like good jupiter a uh, good uh, venus a good venus makes one prosperous it signifies luxurious life it signifies arts drama and uh, and it also represents like a person a crafty person a weak venus in a horoscope shows that a person is a very crafty person and among the uh, body parts it, it it represents the shine this the how much shiny how much glowy the skin of a person is and it also represents our genitals and among the relationships it represents the our wife and the wife or girlfriend and and it also teaches the diplomacy a we a weak venus in a horoscope generally signifies that the person is a very diplomatic person and a crafty person whereas a strong venus takes a person towards arts drama spirituality and these things and uh, venus rules the sign of taurus and libra it is exalted in pisces and debilitated in virgo so, so thank you for watching this video it, it is the part 1 of our planets in astrology in our next video we will talk about the remaining planets which are saturn north node of moon so, uh, south node of moon uranus neptune and pluto so do like this video and do mention in the comments your own experience with the planets thank you